I love your body and how you move with elegance. Damn, you an angel, cuz I swear you heaven sent. Shorty bad, but got a heart of benevolence. Focus on herself, no count. They irrelevant. Love the way you move, so in tune with the groove. Shade butter, baby, melanated skin so smooth. You got me hooked like Captain Sweat. There's no capping. Black Queen magic got me stuck like Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have tried to record this like four times, but it keeps on shutting off for some reason. But if you guys have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the bell so you guys will be notified when I post another motherfucking video. And let's go, let's talk. So I'm sitting in a car, I'm at work. Um, I'm on, on this three day, we have this three day class that we have to take. So yeah, it's like one of those one classes where you have to, it's like a defense class kind of telling us like what to do, what not to do type things. Um, I've worked in the healthcare field for a while now, so I'm used to taking these classes, but it's, it's kind of repetitive because I've taken so many of these classes and it's just like another one and it's all day long. So it's kind of like hurry up type shit and I'm like the last like hour prior to lunch I'm just trying my hardest not to go to sleep like not to go to sleep but um it's so funny um I don't know if I said this in my previous video when I, well not previous video but one of my videos when I was talking about starting my um second job uh one of my old co-workers from <clears throat> my last job when before excuse me before i moved to louisiana works here and i didn't know that it was him like at first he looked familiar but he had a mask on so i just didn't want to be like hey do i know you so um when we were our first day of orientation he was uh, on the other side of the room. So, you know how they make you go around and tell everybody about yourself or whatever. So that's what they did. And he went and said his name and then said where he used to work. And I would turn around and I'm like, that's where I know you from. Like, that's where I know you from. So, yeah, we talked a little bit. And I was just asking him, like, how was it out there and all that other stuff. And he's just like, it's gotten worse. Like, I'm just like, I'm kind of happy that I'm not out there. Um, not going to lie. Um, when I moved back to Iowa, um, I did apply, uh, but they did not contact me back. Um no hard feelings <laughs> no hard feelings at all um but <sighs> some of the people that i met at my old job um were really cool i ain't doing much y'all i ain't doing much i am trying not to for those of you that um follow my ttc journey um, I'm trying not to purchase ovulation strips, but I want to so badly because I'm officially off my cycle. This is cycle day eight. And I'm just like, don't do it. I said I wasn't gonna track this cycle. Don't do it, don't do it. But I'm just like, the other day I was just like, maybe I should just go and get a clear blue. Because I love clear blue because it's just like, it's very like straightforward. You either get a smiley face you get a blinking smiley face, a solid smiley face, or not one at all, just a circle. 
it's very straightforward and with the strips it's just like that line and you're like okay is that line darker than the test line and like or the um y'all know what i'm talking about but i really want to get the um what is it called mirror i think it's mirror i want to get that so bad but like I said in my previous video, it's $200. So I'm just like, fuck, I wanna get it so bad though. So what should I do? Should I test this cycle or should I just let it go and let it flow and let it happen if it happens this month? Or should I test? I want to test so bad, you guys. But if you are a TTC person, you know that them clear blue tests ain't no hoe. Them clear blue tests cost a lot. And it sucks. Like, I feel like if you're trying to get pregnant and you have like fertility issues or like whatever like i don't feel like that shit should cost that much it's bad enough that if you have to go out here and get an iui or ivf that shit costs an arm and a fucking leg like two arms and two legs not just one so goddamn give me a coupon i want a coupon do they have coupons because if they have coupons let me know let me know I've never seen a clear blue coupon but if they got them please let me know ladies cause um I love clear blue but I don't like the price I don't like the price I think after work I'm gonna run to Walmart because I'm about to start doing um press-ons so I need to get the little clay to stick on my stand where you put the nails on before you like design them. I need to go get the, that, so. telling you guys that I had found a product that I wanted to try out um, with my TTC journey. Um, I wanted to stop using regular um, ovulation strips and clear blue and the little cheapy things. Um, not cheapy things, but cheap ovulation uh, test and stuff so <sighs> yo I'm super excited because I told you guys that I wanted to try out um, Mira and correct me if I'm saying it wrong but it's spelled M-I-R-A and um, I told you guys it was $199. And that's a little expensive. That's a little expensive. But um, I have been like trying to figure out how can I get this for cheaper? Like, I don't want to spend $200. Like, I just don't want to do that. So, your girl started doing her little researchy search. 
and I found um, a mirror for $50, y'all. $50. I went on this little group thing and um, one of the ladies that was using it or whatever um, got pregnant the first time she used it. So she doesn't need it anymore. So I am buying hers. Yeah, so I found one for $50. The only thing that I have to purchase is the the wands, the little uh, strip wand things that go inside. And like, I've been reading a lot of reviews and everyone says like, yeah, the initial purchase of um, Mira is pricey, but what you get out of it is like, amazing um from what i read is it's like having a fertility doctor in your pocket basically so i'm super excited about that so yeah it's like having a fertility doctor in your little pocket in your little egg thing i'm going to show you guys it when i get it because i'm super excited to get it i should get it next week so I'll show you guys when I get it. Um, today is Friday or Thursday the 21st. So you guys will see it on the 26th, I believe. Yeah. But all of the reviews that I have seen with this product is like amazing. Um, I've done a whole bunch of like, read a whole bunch of reviews and stuff. And a lot of the women that have used it said that they got pregnant within the first, first through fifth month of trying it. A lot of them were like, the first month they used it, they got pregnant. So I'm just like, because I really feel like last month, I don't think I ovulated. But I really feel like we just be missing, like, missing that time. Like, I'm thinking, like, okay, we need to do it now. We need to do it right now. And we might be missing it. So, um, in the reviews, it says that it, like, pinpoints the, like, the exact time. Like, bam. Like, let's get her done. Like, I'm super excited, y'all. Like, I'm so excited to uh, use this product. I told Johnny, I was like, what if, um, not what if we get it, because I've already purchased it, but when we get this, I'm like, what if we get pregnant on the first hurrah? He was like, then we get pregnant. <laughs> y'all don't understand how much I want to get this done and over with. Like, I want to hurry up and have this baby. Because for those of you that don't know, when I turn 40, I am getting a full body of Makeover. Not necessarily a full body, but I'm getting a BBL. I'm getting a tummy tuck. And I want my boobs done again. So, those are the three things. I told Johnny that I wanted to get my lips done. And he was like, you must be out your damn mind. I said I wanted them to look a little bit more poutier. 
And he was like, girl, you already got big lips. I love my lips. But I feel like they could be, my top lip could be a little bit more poutier. Even though it's already big. I remember, <laughs> uh, I remember um, this girl that used to be my friend. <laughs> she had said, what did she say? I think it was our last argument. She had told me, um, she said, what did she say? She said, you have to get you had to get surgery to look good or something she said something like that like i thought that shit was so funny like i wanted to die laughing because at my biggest i was still pulling them so so i'm like and i've never like been the type of person to think like oh i'm ugly or something like that bitch i'm never ugly like I know that so it was so funny like it, it was funny when she said that to me it was so funny I had my little comeback too <laughs> but it was funny I just that I thought about that when I was talking about getting getting surgery because there is a lot of people around here not necessarily where I'm at right now but in the world there's a lot of motherfuckers in this world that have okay bodies but they face is not okay they body good but they face ain't good at all so Swallow that. Take a sip of that. I'd rather have a beautiful face and a body I could change versus having an ugly face that you can't change. I mean, you could change it. But there's only so many things you can do to change it. You get my drift. You get my drift. But, uh, yeah, so. I'm at home. I just wanted to stop in and let y'all know that I did purchase the mirror. And I will show you guys when I get it in the mail. 